Tech Demo has building. You're building that? Yeah, it's like a mode 7 kind of engine. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna go for check it out. If you hold up, that increases the max speed. But if you go too fast, then it kind of crashes. Nice. Oh, I just accidentally zoomed out of bounds there. Here you can see my initials instead of the map. <laughs> Developing this. Oh, it's, just, it's just an engine right now, so I'm not yeah, finished it. They, they did. Really? Yeah. It's, I haven't awesome. announced it yet. It's like the first unveiling. Wow. I've always wanted to see a project on one of these kiosks. Yeah, yeah. This so, is like some pretty impressive stuff. Actually, yeah. Uh, I didn't know, so this almost looks like Boat 7. I, yeah, it's, but it's different though. It's uh, Boat 7 uses uh, matrix trans transformations. Just for cartoon calculations, those are something I invented. Really? So it's, it's not ray casting, it's something brand new. Yeah, because I was thinking this is like another game where can do Boat 7. Oh, yeah. So it can't. So well, here I'll show you uh, some. So this was a. a this kind of shows kind of how it functions. So it's tile based, right? Okay. And scaling the tiles. And so, so basically, you're almost like giving it like a, a vanishing point, and kind of like telling it to scale the vanishing point to make the tiles based on the vanishing point. Yeah, that's right. So it's less sophisticated than Mode Seven, but it's good enough for a game board. Yeah, I mean, Mode Seven, you're, you're too many calculations. Whereas yeah. This, this is like a way of simplifying it so it can actually run. Yeah, on the so, NES and Google. So on this one, clever. the horizon is fixed. You can't move it up and down. Whereas both seven, like you could yeah. change your perspective to wherever you want in relative. You can't go up and down, but I could if I had more tables. So it's, it's using a lookup table. Yeah. So if I, but that's like a large part of the run space. So if I added more, then I probably could go up and down. I could kind of bake it. But, okay. So but yeah, it's kind of fixed. Yeah. yeah that, but I mean, even this, this is really good. Thing. You gotta, you know, it's not even finished, so that's Yeah, cool. I mean, yeah, if you're not being finished, this is pretty great. Yeah, and like, using the, uh, like, the chunks for the tiles or whatever, like... The what? Or, like, the way that loads into sprites rather than, like, you know, calculating the matrix transformation of the whole plane, like, when you're driving, it's, like, straight down the road, like, it looks exactly as good as Mode 7. That's very impressive. But no one knows about this yet. So, <laughs> so I, gotta, I gotta keep it on the down low. Yeah. Yeah. This, this actually makes me more excited to get my project done. But now I want to see this running on my project. Well, yeah, I mean, like, seeing a new kind of game that you didn't think was possible is kind of nice. Like a new genre. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. But yeah, you should definitely uh, see what the controls feel like. You wanna hop on? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll give it a try. This is so cool. If you tap up, that increases the max speed, but it can make it crash, so it's not. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, because then I'd be drawing the calculations, they'd be doing all the calculations too fast, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, that, it looks that's... like mode 7, doesn't it? It looks so close to mode 7. I, it's just, like, this is good enough for me to almost just call mode 7. Uh, this is from scratch. Yeah, he, he's, 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 this is assembly uh, language. Nice. Can I take a picture of this? Oh, go ahead. Sweet. I don't know where I'm going. The max speed got there, turned there up is super a high. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
I can make the, the map larger too if I I could do it like twice as large. Alright, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so cool. I don't think it's supposed to go down. Okay, I'll be I'll be back. Just like playing this feels amazing for a Game Boy game. I feel very impressed by this. I bet you. I spent like about a year and a half. Well, it's for the NES and Game Boy, so that makes it take longer. Nice. It's not Tetris anymore. <laughs> what do we have now? It's just a tech demo, it's not a game. But. Oh, it's a tech demo. Okay. This is like a demo machine. What? It's like a demo machine, right? Or just... This is like a shop kiosk. This is, this is his game that he's, he's making. Oh, okay. So I'm going to develop in something original but similar to Mario Kart. So I'm just temporarily using those kind of graphics. Okay, cool. I mean, the, the major thing is if it feels right. I'm not just going for like a technical gimmick. I want something that actually feels fun. So that's... Yeah, it feels super smooth. I was really like, yeah. I was shocked by how smooth it was. I think it's really helped like by the way the background scrolls because it's like that feels very responsive. And I think that's like a... On the Game Boy, like you just have the four colors or whatever. It's kind of hard to get that sense of feedback. But I think that like having like the, the trees, especially that vertical line, I think that really adds a lot. That looks even better when it's the color too. <laughs> Are you testing this on a color? It's for Game Boy Color and original Game Boy. Alright. And the NES. distance isn't going back as far as it could so it, it, there will be more visible area later. Would this be like a downloadable ROM for emulators or is this finished? Well I'm hoping to make an original game so uh, maybe. Fake racing games with no yeah. fake. See, most racing games you're stuck on a rail. They, they have that, that warped road, but you right. can never turn around. So, can you read that? Or I'm just kind of curious. Does it make sense? Or
Yeah. 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 Yeah.